Hey everybody, this is Rex at Watson's Marine in Bluff City, Tennessee, and uh, you know, we've talked in the past about different techniques and different baits and that you can use for different times of the season so far, and, and uh, part of the things that we've talked about is summertime fishing. And one of the big deals of summertime fishing in our area is deep cranking. And this is a, this is a large mouth, predominantly a large mouth bass type deal. You do catch smallmouth bass on it as well. But uh, in deep cranking, you know, we've talked about baits, the Strike Kings, the Normans, the different baits that work well with deep cranking. But what we haven't talked about is the proper rod and reel setup. And, and uh, something that will help you with that in, in, in deep cranking, the object in deep cranking is just what the name says. You want to get a crankbait down as deep as it'll go. So in order to do that, the further that you can cast that bait, the deeper it's going to go. So the right rod and reel is essential to this technique, even more so probably in just about anything else that you'll do. It's real specific. And most sanctioning bodies for tournaments uh, will allow up to an eight foot rod. Uh, so manufacturers are always going right to the edge, right to the limits of what we can legally get by with the fish. And uh, Abu Garcia has come out with a rod this year for deep cranking that has really been popular so far for us here at Watson's Marine. Uh, it's in the, the Abu Garcia Winch series. Uh, this particular rod is uh, 7 feet 11 inches long. Uh, it's in a moderate, fa uh, it's a, in a heavy, moderate, fast action. Uh, this rod is rated up to two and a half ounces. So what that allows you is to be able to throw really heavy, deep diving crankbaits, such as a Strike King 10XD, 8XD. But again, it allows you to make those long casts and get that bait real far out from the boat so you can have more time for the bait to dive, have more time in its maximum depth, before it starts coming back up. And also a big key to that, and, and make no mistake, all the manufacturers have great rods that will do basically the same thing. Uh, and then you go into reels. So a reel for this technique, one of the ones that's probably the best bang for the buck out there is the Lose BB1. And this particular reel is in a five one to one ratio a lot of people like that slower ratio for deep diving baits, uh, but this reel is moderately priced, uh, and it was designed by probably the, the godfather of deep cranking, David Fritz, and uh, excellent casting reel, easy to adjust, but it's very durable, and, and cranking a deep crank bait is kind of rough on your equipment, so something that will hold up to uh, deep cranking that's not real easily found. So uh, the Lose BB1 in, uh, or BB1 is a hard reel to beat for deep cranking. So now we're gonna move on to uh, one of my favorite deals to do is pitching and flipping. And pitching and flipping, in our area you do way more pitching than you do flipping. But a good pitching rod, um, a lot of people like a seven and a half foot rod. Uh, I don't like a particularly a seven and a half foot rod for me. I like more like a seven two, seven three. But uh, the odd, the most popular usually is around seven and a half foot rod. Uh, here's a prime example of one: uh, is die with seven six heavy flipping rod. Great rod, uh, great lightweight rod for such a long heavy heavy action rod, uh, and and just a, a fabulous fabulous rod to do that with. Daiwa makes a, a pitching and flipping reel that's a great reel for that same technique. And another one is the uh, uh, Shimano Corrado. Uh, this is in the DC model. Uh, it allows you to make uh, skips, skipping a bait across the water and not, not, uh, not have the backlash problems that you have with a lot of other reels. These reels, notoriously, they don't hold a ton of line, but they're mainly for target fishing. You're not putting a, boat, a bait way of, uh, a long distance away from the boat. You're, you're aiming at a specific target and fishing pretty close quarters. So there's one we'll suggest for that. Now we're going to move on to another part of summertime fishing. 
uh, and, and these techniques will work year round, but drop shotting. And drop shotting this particular rod is from uh, G. Loomis. This is an 80, or 820, it's a six, feet, uh, six foot 10 inch rod uh, for drop shotting. G. Loomis make just fabulous rods, extremely light and sensitive. Uh, and there's any number of spinning reels. Daiwa makes some absolutely incredible spinning reels and, and some, that, uh, they're all price ranges. It just boils down to, to uh, what area you're looking at, what, what uh, uh, type of reel you're looking for. Uh, Shimano as well. Shimano has just incredible spinning reels. This particular model is a Sedona 2500. It'll work great for drop shotting and most any other spinning techniques. Moderately priced and still a quality reel. That's kind of the high points of, of a few combos that you can come up with for, for summertime fishing. And uh, just like I said, there's there's no end to the combinations. And just like we said, to give to give shade to all of our manufacturers, all of them make great products. Uh, uh, it just boils down to what you prefer for yourself. But uh, anyway, if you have any questions about this stuff, you can stop any time and see us up here, and, and we can help put the combo together that uh, is going to suit your needs. But uh, come see us real soon up here at Watson's Marine, and good fishing to everybody out there.